Hey guys, so we've got a Yamaha outboard here, 40 horsepower, uh, 21 years old, prop has probably never been off, and we're gonna show you what we need to do to get a prop off if it's seized on, it is stuck. So there's a couple of techniques like this that you can do. You can tap on the back of the shaft while you're pulling the prop. You can tap on the front of the prop with a block or something and try and tap it forward while you've got some pressure on it. So there's the corrosion guys on the shaft. Uh, she's corroded right up. Cannot move this prop off that shaft. She just will not budge. We've tried to tap the end, as you can see, and given a good whack with a block and so on on the front of the prop. Uh, it won't move. So we're gonna have to do something serious to get this one off. So what I've done, I've got a harmonic balancer puller kit. I have put some chains around the prop. I've seen some other guys try to do it with uh, straps and cables and it just doesn't work. There's not enough tensile strength. So we've got some chains around the props, all three props, to show you here. And we've got the harmonic balancer uh, puller there, ready to go. And moment of truth, let's see if we can uh, actually get some uh, tension onto this prop and get it off the shaft. Just put the block up on the prop so she won't turn. And let's see if we can. Oh, yes, it started to free. So there we go. We've, uh, we've got a lot of pressure there. We've got a lot of tension. I had all the tension taken up on that chain, but we've got a lot of tension there and it's just budged. And if we can see down the, I'll get a shot down the back, but I'll, I'll get it off and at least you'll be able to see that um, that's the kind of strength you need. You need to get some serious tensile pull to get that off the shaft if it's corroded on. So the setup's pretty straightforward. It's just the harmonic balancer puller and three loops made up with a, one single length of chain, three loops made up to go around uh, the three sections of the prop and uh, just some D-shackles just to hold it at the right position on each loop. But that's it, that's what it's um, gonna take. Uh, I tell you what, it took some serious power because as you can see, that's how much the pin wore down, just doing that final tension on it. Uh, it started off like this one, just a point. It wore the tip away that much with the amount of tension it took to shift that prop this time. Uh, so yeah, if you've got a, a stuck prop uh, and it just won't budge by doing the normal techniques, by tapping the shaft, then you might need to do something as serious as a puller like this. You can get prop pullers, but this one, um, just wrapping around like it does with the loops and the chain, um, you can get some serious um, pull and it's much heavier duty than a lot of prop pullers uh, and, and did the job. And there's the opposite end, as you can see. Pretty bad in the rear of the prop. Okay guys, so we got the prop ready to go, the new prop. We got um, the shaft is all greased. Uh, make sure you put a good amount of grease on that shaft. The only reason those props won't come off is because the salt builds up in there and the compression forces of that salt, once it builds up, compacts, contracts, builds up, uh, stays wet because it absorbs humidity from the atmosphere when you're not using your boat as well. So if you've got some grease on those shafts uh, and plenty of it and you do that every year or two like you do your wheel bearings on your trailer, or you should do, uh, then you're not going to have the salt build up and you're going to keep cleaning that, keeping it right so that you can get your prop off in the future. Uh, make sure your space is um, in the right way so uh, uh, otherwise your prop won't go on far enough. We'll just put it back together. Should just slide on easily by hand now. And then we'll do him up and we've got new prop on and job's done. So hope uh, it helps you guys as well. Um, get your prop off and get a new one on or get it fixed, get it painted, do whatever you need to do. Once you do this and you grease up and lube up that shaft again, you won't have any problems if you keep it nice like that. So when you're washing your engine down each time, you've got to make sure that there's a good flow and wash in the prop as well. So give it a good flush under and up inside and, and make sure you're washing all the salt washing all the salt off around where that shaft is and it's grease and so on. You want all the salt water out of there. Don't forget the water coming down from the thermostat is salty water out of the engine too. So, so you really need to give it a good wash.